I've got all these. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. I don't normally start videos at night, but it is currently Tuesday night, it is 10 o'clock and I have just stepped into the studio because I feel like sewing and I feel like creating. Um, I have actually been given a last minute invitation to a market um, girls day out sort of fundraiser sort of event this Saturday. Just realise this lighting is probably not the best, but we're just going to roll with it. So. What I have done is I have just drafted up a list of all different things on what I need to sew. So I've got, these are all scrunchies um, because I don't actually think I need to sew anything else apart from scrunchies because I have a lot of stock already pre-made for all the shops and everything. So I'm just going to use them. So I've decided to just do some sewing, um, turn them inside out, top stitch them, tag them clean up the studio i need to obviously cut the fabric to be able to sew the fabric so i was like well why not film i thought i'd make a little video out of it because i haven't been very consistent in my videos recently and i really apologize for that um if you haven't seen my recent video i'll pop it here but basically i've just had not much motivation um recently within the business in general but i have also had a lot going on in my personal life with a lot of events and just a busy time of year for me so I took a step back from YouTube. There's still videos to watch. Um, if you haven't watched my old ones, um, definitely go watch them. But yeah, I'm going to try and step up my game um, and be a bit more consistent. I have a lot of video ideas. I just need to obviously find the time to put them in place. So this is the video. It's really just a last minute preparation of a market because I know you guys love looking at the market videos. Um, I don't know if this video is going to make it all the way to the market or not. So we'll see how I go, um, see how I feel. But at the moment, I am just going to focus on cutting all these, sewing all these and yeah, get into that late night grind. Okay, so here we've got three piles. Actually, that's a lie, two piles. I just got them in three bits, but they are all the fabrics that I need to cut. They actually don't look too colourful. It's a very weird mix of fabrics. Like, we've got some of the, like, rainbow, like, the cheetah ones and everything, and then, like, some really nice neutral ones. I don't think this one's on the website, but it's a really pretty brown, crinkle sort of plaid. Um, I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to cut all them up. I only need a couple of each. So I'm going to cut them and then get sewing. I think there's about 50. So that's nothing compared to what I've done in the past. It is currently 10.30. I think I can do it. And I think I'll be able to sew them. And not turn them inside out or anything. But I think I'll be able to sew them by 11.30 dash midnight. Depends how distracted I get. So I will get cutting. And I'll check back in on the time soon.
Okay, so I've now finished cutting all of them. It is currently 8 past 11. I don't like the chances of me sewing all these by 11.30. Um, possibly 12 o'clock, who knows. Um, but we're just going to see how I go. I am obviously going to continue sewing and getting things ready tomorrow. Um, I'm not too worried because the market is on Saturday and it starts at 12. So I've got time, even like Saturday, to pack the car, etc. Um, I do have a few things on the next couple of days, but I want to make the most of the late night sewing and everything. So... This is what I'm going to get to and the camera's about to die so I'll check in soon. It is currently midnight and I have decided to call it a night. Um, I finished cutting up all of the scrunchy fabrics and I turned inside out the ones that I had already sewn. Um, so I didn't film them but sewn them. Um, so they're ready to be top stitched which is awesome. I absolutely love this poppy one. I think it is beautiful. So that is all done. This is going to be a tomorrow job. I do have a video I have to make, um, like a reel um, for a collab that I've done. So I'm really excited to do that. So I might film a little bit of that. Hello, my friends. It is currently four quarter to five on Wednesday. So I have been out all day. I literally only just stepping in the studio now. Um, nothing really has changed since last night since I checked in. But what I'm aiming to do now is do probably about an hour and a half of sewing, see how I go. Um, and then tonight just turn inside out all the scrunchies that I need. Um, I still have obviously that pile of scrunchies that need sewing. Apart from that, it's really just getting things ready for the market. So I need to probably tomorrow or maybe tonight if I have time. I know I keep saying these things, but this is just to remind me. But I need to work out the signs, um, so the pricing signs. I need to make sure that the boards are okay. Um, I did want to do a little bit of a clean up of them, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to do that before Saturday, which is completely fine. Um, it just means that I'll have to do it after. Because normally during winter, I like to just have a break from markets um, and do a little bit of revamp of my market stall. But obviously, it is smack bang in the middle of winter. Um, it's the 8th, market's on the 8th of July. So right in the middle of winter in Australia. So I'm, yeah, kind of breaking the norm of Handmade Gems, which is a bit weird for me. But I'm excited. It looks like it's going to be a great day. I've just had a look of like the schedule of the day. And basically it's at Montrose Footy Club. So if you're local, you might know where Montrose is. Um, but it's called the Montrose Girls Day Out. And basically it's got stalls from local women in business. Um, it's got representation from the clubs. It's got guest speakers as well as um, food and drinks and fun games and activities throughout the day so it's running 12 till 5 i believe um so really excited it's something different i am so blessed to be invited um montrose have been lovely to me um this will be the third time i'm at the club with a stall this year so i'm very very grateful for all their support so yeah i cannot wait um, but obviously i need the stock to be able to get there um, and sell and have a market stall and yeah obviously yesterday the walls looking a bit sad I'm gonna restock that after I've sewed the scrunchies the next few days I'm very in and out of home so just got things on appointments etc so I'm just trying to work out where to sew and um, time around all these things so that's why we're walking in the studio at quarter to five in the evening but I made it and that's all I can ask for. So I'm gonna get sewing.
currently right on seven o'clock. I have been sewing for the past couple of hours, very on and off. I've got distracted a few times, but I have majority of the scrunchies sewn. I have probably about 20 left to do um, a bit later or tomorrow, but I think I actually misjudged the amount of scrunchies I had. I don't know where I put my list, but I think I calculated that it was meant to be like 50 or so. Turns out it's about 110. So I don't know how I calculated that wrong, but I have majority of them sewn um, and ready to be turned inside out. So I'm going to be doing that inside. I'm gonna go watch a movie. The main thing is just getting these scrunchies finished just so I have excess stock. Um, because I have enough to do for a market, but some of them I don't have any of, like a lot of um, the satin colors and um, popular prints. I don't have any left because they obviously have been so popular. Um, but I, yeah, I'm fixing that now. I'm making stock. So that is my plan for tonight. I'm just gonna go relax. I don't wanna spend um, a late night in the studio again cause I was pretty tired after last night. So I did just wanna mention a big thank you to anybody who watched, commented, even silent viewers. Thank you so much for your support on all my videos but my previous video in particular I feel like I am clearly not the only one thinking and being in a bit of a slump at the moment in terms of you know the status of the, of the economy slow business slow everything and so it was kind of really really heartwarming to see all the comments from a community that I've built purely through putting out these videos on the internet like this and I'm so grateful for all your support. Please know that they don't go unnoticed. I always try and respond to all of them um, but obviously sometimes it can take a little bit longer than others so thank you so much. I am so grateful. I've read through them all. Yeah I'm just so grateful that you are spending time supporting me, watching my channel, watching my videos but also I am so glad to hear that my videos are helping people um, because that is one of the main things I want to try and do out of this channel is help people that are like-minded like me, um, like creating, running a small business themselves or just like being creative, like sewing. I am so grateful and yeah, I cannot, cannot thank you all for all your support enough. I have been juggling a lot with trying to find time to do all of these things and work and study and socialize and all sorts of things so i really really do try and get a video up every two weeks but it's yeah recently it's been pretty slack just because i've been very hectic so um in saying that if you have any video ideas i have ones lined up that i want to film but if you have any in particular that you want to see please let me know down below of this video um it would really mean a lot just to see what you guys are after um, or what you enjoy watching, whether you enjoy just watching market prep videos or tip videos or tutorials, all sorts of things. Let me know um, because I obviously want to be putting out content that people want to watch, not just putting out content for the sake of it, um, which is why I don't post every week or why I don't post something if I'm not 100% with it because I don't want to just post something for the sake of having it up in the right time frame. I want to make sure that I have put as much effort in it as possible. Um, I'm happy with the quality and the content putting out, so I really want to make sure that I like it before you guys see it. That's my little check-in for the night. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get inside. Um, it's very cold in the studio, even with the heater, so I am excited to head inside. I'll finish these and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. It is four o'clock on Thursday feel like I've been coming in here definitely a lot in the afternoons, but not complaining. It's nice in here in the afternoon. So I'm just moving my sewing machines over um, to work out a backdrop um, for a video that I'm going to do. It is for a brand collab with Oz Sticker Packaging. Um, I'm excited. I haven't opened this package. I know it's just some stickers with the Handmade Gems logo, um, but I think they're going to look amazing. I haven't actually ever got stickers made before for the business, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see how they've turned out. So I'm currently wanting to film a reel that I want to get up today, so we'll see how I go, but I'm trying to get this backdrop working, so I'm just making sure that I've got the blue ready. And then I think I'm just going to do like an unboxing sort of one. I think that's probably the best way to do it. But I want to quickly catch the natural light still. So we'll see how I go. So I'm going to probably put you on a time lapse.
just filmed and I don't know how much my camera picked up but I filmed a video the stickers are beautiful they're so cute um, they're literally these small craft square stickers I chose the craft paper ones because it obviously suits my business the most the only thing about our sticker packaging is the adhesive isn't eco-friendly um, but they are looking into that so that is the one thing that obviously isn't a hundred percent perfect for me but compared to all the other ones there are so many different stickers that they offer and I yeah I'm so so excited to try these so this video isn't sponsored um, the Instagram one is but I am so grateful to partner with them um, but I obviously just wanted to share it with you guys on YouTube as well because you are the YouTube fam so I am working on editing the reel. I don't know how it's going to turn out. The lighting went a bit weird, but I've got to just make do with what I've got. Um, but yeah, they sent me a sample pack with all different types of stickers and everything that they do. So they make like bumper stickers and they've got like all the transparent ones and all the different glossiness and satin. Um, all the different sizes they do, even craft tags which I thought was so cute. Really good, really good idea. Um, and then they do business cards and they've got like different types. They've got little stickers, like so many things. After editing that and posting that, I'm gonna get back into making, finishing off the scrunchies and everything for the weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to spend in the studio for a lot of the day um today i got the float money that's all good but yeah tomorrow is really just focusing on getting things ready packing the car um although i think i'm gonna leave the car packing until saturday but we'll see how i go i think i will bring you guys along on saturday i don't know how much i'll be able to film but i feel like it would just make this vlog a whole heap better um if i brought you guys along so i've decided to do that which is exciting currently the weather it's meant to be about 12 degrees. Keep in mind it's winter in Melbourne. So it's meant to be 12 degrees. It's meant to be a bit windy, but not too windy. If it's too windy, I won't do a market. Um, and then it's meant to have showers throughout the day. So we're gonna just hope for the best. I'm gonna take my sides of the marquee um, and I think it's gonna be okay. I'll make it work. It'll be fine. Welcome to another day in the studio. It is Friday today. I am in the studio with the sun shining in. It feels so good. It's such a nice day. It's still winter, but it's just warmer. So another vest. Um, I have this basket and then this basket all to sew. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. Um, I just need to top stitch them. I turned them inside out with the help of Maddie last night. So hopefully I'll be able to top stitch them all. That clock is very wrong. Just ignore it. It doesn't work. Um, but that is what I'm going to do. And then after that, I'm just going to get everything ready for the market and, um, just finish off some things and really just pack. I'm not going to pack the car tonight. I'm going to pack it tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me to the market. If I have time, I will be putting... All of these fabrics back in the shelves but I'm just not too sure how much time I'm gonna have so I'm gonna stop chatting get sewing hopefully it won't take me long but I say this every time and I always get distracted so we will just see where I go and how I go
It is, what's the time? 2.03 and I am done sewing. I am so excited that it's done. We've got all of these, so many. Um, plus all of these ones on the beanbag. I'll show you a photo or a video. I'll just, let me just show you what I've done. So the sun's hitting them, but they look beautiful. There are so many different scrunchies here. Um, so what I've got to do is I now have to cut all the threads. So I don't know if you can tell, but they're all joined by these threads. And that is just because I top stitch them and don't individually cut them until after, just so I can quality check. But I think they look beautiful. So many different colors, patterns, designs, everything. And cut them all up. And then I have to tag them and put other things in containers. So we have a bit to do. Yeah, so as I said, it's 2.05. I'm going to have a little break. Um, and then I'll come back and probably pack all the boxes and everything with all the other products, signs, etc. Make sure that's all done. Um, and then the top, like the cutting, the threads and tagging is going to probably be the last thing that I can do. Because I can do that at the market if last resort tomorrow. So if I do really need to, I can continue to cut the threads off and tag them at the market. Not that I want to do that, but... I would much rather have all my other things packed so I'm not stressed tomorrow. Even though I do have a couple of hours in the morning, I obviously don't want to be stress sewing and stress packing, etc. I want to make sure I've got everything. So I think that's my plan. I'm going to have a little break from the studio, get some fresh air, have something to eat, um, come back, pack all the boxes, get everything kind of ready so I can pack the car tomorrow morning. We've made it back in the studio. It is 20 to four. I only have about 45 minutes in here now. So I really don't, don't know how much I'm going to get done. But my plan is to pack up all of the non-scrunchy products into their tubs. Um, I feel like I'm missing a tub and I can't work out where I've put it. I need to look at the Lucky Dips because I haven't actually looked at them recently. And I'm scared that I don't have enough. I will work something out. I normally, the Lucky Dips, if you are new to the channel um, or new to my market vlogs, Lucky Dips are basically, I call them misfit Lucky Dips. So they are scrunchies that are too big, too small, have um, weird stitching um, or I'm just not 100% happy with. Keep in mind, I am very picky when it comes to quality check. So if things aren't up to scratch, in my opinion, it might still look perfect to you, but in my opinion, it's still just not up to scratch and I don't want to sell it at that price. So the misfit lucky dip sort of thing is just a way for me to cover my costs, um, have a little mystery sort of box vibe at markets, um, have something fun for the kids. The kids absolutely love it. And yeah, just something a little different at the market stall. So it's all scrunchies. Um, I do want to add in different products and everything down the line, but I just haven't worked out the best way to do that yet. I'm currently looking at my signs and I don't know if you guys can tell but they have like mud and dirt all over them and I'm contemplating whether to get new ones or not but I don't want to get new ones because I feel like that's so wasteful so this is what I want to like redo when I have time is the bottom of it like sand it and paint it even I'm not really sure or maybe even put some vinyl over the top just something to kind of I don't know, like this part in particular, it's really just worn away because it's just really cheap material in itself. But the actual board still works really well, so I don't want to ruin it. So I think what I'm going to do is give it a wipe down 
um, just with some Pina Clean wipes because I don't want <laughs> mud and dirt. I just think that doesn't look the best. You can't really tell on camera, but like when you look closer up, you can see all droplets and it looks like sand in a way. So even though it'll probably most likely get dirty again tomorrow, I want to fix this. signs are done I they look a lot better after a wipe you can't really tell but they don't look as dirty they're still a bit gross but I can't really do much in terms of doing stuff now um, after the market tomorrow I will see how gross they've gotten and kind of try and brainstorm a few ways to fix them a little bit um, so that they're a little bit more welcoming for future markets. I have been wanting to put them up the top of the marquee and kind of hang them instead of have them at the down at the bottom at the tables because I do know people don't naturally look down for prices, they look up. And so I really want it to just be nice and self-explanatory for them but I haven't found a way that can withstand wind and all the conditions of a market and be safe to have them up the top so I'm still working out a way there um, but obviously like my market store always improves and you're always changing setups and changing things like I don't think I've had a market store that has been the exact same every single time I think every time I've done a market something has been different for instance, this time, not taking pet bandanas because they may or may not be one of the items that I'm phasing out. You heard it first. Sorry, not sorry. Um, there's a lot of change coming. Well, not a lot, but a few really exciting changes. Um, and pet bandanas, sadly, are one of them. Um, so I'm not taking them to the market and I'm going to just see how it goes. Um, I do have my packs, so the gift packs and stuff that I still have so I'll take them hopefully sell some of them um, because I have a lot of different products that I've, I have put in gift packs and I really hope that they sell um, but normally it's very yeah very hit and miss um, the main thing I wanted to have is just scrunchies and just have them made because they are the best sellers at markets especially amongst kids and tomorrow is all about like a family um, girls day out and so there's going to be netballers there, there's going to be footy girls there, all sorts of people so I really want to make sure that I have something for everybody so that is yeah that's really my plan I have all of the stock here but yeah I think I'm going to leave it there tonight and I will check in tomorrow after a good night's sleep so yeah, see you tomorrow for market day. It is currently 8.30 on Saturday morning. I'm in my dressing gown, but I've just packed the car. So that's all ready. Um, I'm going to go inside, get ready. I want to aim about 10 for leaving, but we're just going to see how I go. Um, I need to pick up some chairs on the way. There was a chair dilemma. I'm not going to go into it, but I need to pick up some chairs and then we'll head to Montrose. But it's all packed and there's plenty of room there for just excess stuff if we need um yeah so maddie's joining me today and hopefully it's going to be a good day it's been raining a little bit this morning and it's really cold apart from that it's okay <laughs>
so it's 12.25, Maddie and I have set up. Um, there's probably like four other stalls here. Um, it's like a girls like activity sort of day for the club. So it's really, really fun, really exciting. Um, made a fair few sales already. So it's just a great community. I love doing things at like footy clubs and everything. So um, yeah, we're gonna see how the day goes, but it's cold, we're undercover. We ended up putting the marquee up and then getting told that we could move undercover. So we put it down and the marquee's in the car. So it's a lot more less stress for us. Um, but I'm really excited to just be here and be at a market because I've missed markets. But yeah, we'll see how the day goes. So it's 4.50 now, Maddie and I are in the car. Um, we finished up at about four, quarter past four. Um, it got really, really cold, but there was a really pretty rainbow, but it was a really great day. Um, yeah, it was just good to do a, a different market, a winter market. There was only like three stalls, but um, it was really good to support the local footy club. Um, yeah, Montrose have been awesome in supporting us, so it was great to be part of the day so i'm going to finish the vlog here um but thank you so much for joining me i really hope you've enjoyed another market vlog and yeah look forward to seeing you guys soon stay gorgeous <laughs>